Okay, I want to show the different ways you can add values YAML files for harness, harness Kubernetes deployments. And I also want to show you how you can do the same thing with OpenShift parameters and customized patches, and also YAML files in Helm charts. So what I want to show you is the difference between <clears throat> including multiple YAML files that are in the same repo as your manifest, or your template, or your customized manifest, or using uh, YAML files that are in separate repos. So there's a difference here. Let me show you with Kubernetes first. <clears throat> so when you add a uh, Kubernetes manifest, you'll pick the Kubernetes manifest type, and then you'll create a connector out to the repo. In this case, I'm connecting to this repo over here, um, where I have multiple YAML files. Um, this is the one that I'm going to use, and it uses artifact add image expression here and infra namespace expression. And if you've read our docs, you know that this references the artifact that you would add, that you've added down in the, let me close this, down in the artifact section here. So if you use this expression, it'll pull that artifact. It'll get the full uh, path to that artifact and put it in there at runtime. Um, and this will do the same thing for the namespace that it's specified in infrastructure over here. Let's go back into our file here. Okay, so we've got a connection to there, and then we're going to specify both our, our, our manifest and our values YAML file. So for the manifest, you can see I just have manifest files templates, which is right here, files, and then templates. And I've got my deployment, namespace, and service. And if you looked at any of these, you can see that these all use go templating to reference the values file for the different uh, information. For example, the name, values.name down here for the deployment. Um, right there. So if I go back and look at my uh, files and I have my different yeah, values YAML, those are I want to add next. So here I can add them like this one at a time and I can just specify this one's going to use ng values YAML. So you're specifying the path from the root of the repo to that file uh, ng values YAML. Like that. And you can add multiple files in here. I could add another uh, path to another file in here. For example, oops. For example, I could have, what's another one here? Uh, let's see. Okay, I'll add this one. I wouldn't actually run this because I don't think this would work. It's got two conflicting uh, uh, values files. But I would put this at the end here, like that. And now I've got two values files. So what happens at runtime is Harness is going to give priority to the last one listed if there are any conflicts between name value pairs in the values file. So let's say there was a name value, the exact same name value pair in number two here and in number one. Number two will win. It will overwrite the one in number one at runtime. So that's how you add ones and uh, values files in the same repo as your manifest. Okay, let me close out of here. And then it'll just be listed down here and you can actually add more by just clicking here. You can just keep adding them that way instead. You can also change it into a runtime input. Let me copy it here so I don't have to paste it in again. Okay. Um, you can change it to a runtime input and click Submit. And then at runtime, you'll be prompted to add it just like you would in the uh, Manifest Details screen. And you can add multiple ones here, so I could just add it there at runtime. Or I could create an input set and run the, input, run the pipeline with the settings from the input set. Okay, so let me go back in here. And let me show you the other ones here. So that, that was for Kubernetes. If your values file is in a separate repo, you can add it separately here as values.yaml. And you would just create a different connector to a different GitHub repo. I'm going to use the same one, but it would be a different repo. And then you would specify the path of the values file there or the folder. And it would be uh, added at runtime. And it would work the same way as the values files that are in your local repo. And let's say we wanted to add a Helm chart. We do the same thing. We could add the Helm chart. We'll connect to whatever our, our repo has the Helm chart. Uh, for example, like an artifactory or something like that. I'm just going to use this one to, to go through quickly. Um, in here, we put the path to the uh, chart as well. And then here, we would add values file. By default, we'll grab, uh, without actually entering anything in, in the values file here, by default, we'll grab the default values.yaml that's in the root of the uh, package of the, of the Helm chart. But if you have additional ones that you want to add, you would just add them here. And all you have to do is specify, if they're in a folder, you can specify the folder, you can specify the path from the root of the chart 
to the file. And the same, um, uh, uh, if there are any conflicts, the same thing happens as I showed you with the values YAML with Kubernetes. And you can also, just like in the one with Kubernetes, you can set this as an expression, so you could pass in, say, a stage variable or some other variable here. Um, and you can also, uh, when you add it, do the same thing as you did here, make it a runtime input. So that's for Helm charts. OpenShift template, same thing, but with parameters. So we would add it, this. And then we would add our parameters file. So in the template file path, we'd put the template. And then here, any parameters files in the same repo, we would add paths to those. Same features as the values YAML. And we can also, just like with the values YAML, add them separately as well. We could add the param file separately if it's in a separate repo. And the same thing works for customize as well in patches. So if I go to customize, and here I would add the path to the, the folder path to the customize files. And then here I could add any uh, paths to any patch files as well. And that would be in the same repo. And if I didn't want to use the same repo, I would just add customized patches separately and point to a separate repo. And that's really it. It shows you a really easy way to use multiple values files, parameter files, patches within the same repo and how uh, one uh, any conflicts are overridden and also how you can use expressions or runtime inputs to set these every time you run the pipeline. That's it.